When the gas turbine is operating at 100% speed, the main hydraulic supply pump takes lube oil from the bearing header and delivers it to the hydraulic supply manifold under very high pressure. The pressure compensator in the main hydraulic oil supply pump regulates the output pressure of the pump. The output from the hydraulic supply manifold is filtered in the active hydraulic supply filter. Then, depending on unit design, this high-pressure oil may be used as a control fluid by the gas fuel system, liquid fuel system, and the VIGV system. Hydraulic oil enters each accumulator through the hydraulic cap and acts on a piston to compress an inert gas, usually nitrogen. If hydraulic oil pressure decreases at the accumulator inlet, the gas expands and forces hydraulic oil back out into the hydraulic supply line. During a normal turbine startup, lube oil must be at normal operating pressure before the control system will activate the auxiliary hydraulic supply pump. When the protection system verifies that lube oil pressure is established, the auxiliary hydraulic supply pump turns on and the turbine begins its crank cycle. When the auxiliary hydraulic supply pump is started, any air trapped in the pump discharge line will escape through air bleed valve VAB2-1. Increasing oil pressure in the hydraulic supply manifold will quickly close the air bleed valve. The auxiliary hydraulic supply pump will deliver a maximum flow of oil to the hydraulic supply manifold until the pressure setting of the compensator, VPR3-2, has been achieved. The compensator will then automatically reduce the pumped volume to the amount necessary to maintain hydraulic pressure at the required setting. 